Hello angels, welcome once again to my channel. This is Evangel Anyawo. I am a Nigerian trained medical practitioner living and working here in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So this video is from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to your screens. Thank you so much for stopping. If you have been coming and watching me and you're subscribed, thank you so much. God bless you. And if you have been coming and watching and going without subscribing, what is happening? why not subscribe and join this amazing family and if you are yet to subscribe please do make sure you subscribe I give you information on health on business I give you information about Saudi Arabia about my personal life if you think that is a uh, part of interest uh, is of interest to you and today I'm going to be talking about Alotim Abdallah Alotim it is one of the biggest grocery malls in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I think it's a multinational company like I did uh, for Alan Dallas, I did for Hyper Panda and which other one but this is specifically for groceries I think so I actually came here because they have lots of sales as you can see all the yellow drop down papers from the shelves are products on sales yes you will see the original price and then you will see the promo price i love sales who doesn't like sales i mean <laughs> i love sales a lot okay look at this is over 50 percent off yes i love sales a lot and i try to buy my stuff when there is sales because if there's no sales i mean you spend more who doesn't like sales <laughs> So I came here to, I mean, show you uh, this big grocery mall and also do some little shopping, and um, which I will be doing at the end of the video. So here in Abdallah Alutim, they sell majorly groceries and they sell some home equipments as well, like television, all the electronic kitchen utensils and all that. This is actually the section for kitchen utensils. And I like buying things from them, like this glassware. I got one of these glasswares the last time I came here. So this is Alotin. We're going to be going through the different sections of this uh, particular mall and I'm going to be walking you through all of them. But never mind, the topic I really want to discuss is Ramadan. Ramadan actually is the ninth month on Hijri, that is the Arabic calendar. And I want to tell us some precautionary measures and what happens during Ramadan. In case you are new to my channel, I live and work in Saudi Arabia, so I tell people a little about what happens in this kingdom so that you take precautionary measures and you prepare your mind on what you're going to see. I know a lot of people will be coming into Saudi Arabia to work uh, within this summer period and uh, if you have been watching my videos, of course, you will not be very, very surprised uh, with whatever you're going to see when it comes to weather when it comes to other stuff i mean the culture the tradition if you have really watched my videos you will know i have talked a lot about this place and you should be able to pick one or two things for yourself so right now i'm going to be telling you about uh, ramadan i am a christian but i try to respect people's culture and tradition i try to respect people's belief and during Ramadan, which is the month nine in the Hijri calendar or the Arabic calendar, and is usually one of the hottest months in this kingdom, I think so. So Ramadan is the month of fasting for Muslims and is a very important month for all Muslims. And during Ramadan, people, I mean, People get to stay indoors during the fasting period and then come out after fasting. That is in the evening stroke night. During Ramadan, you hardly see people sleep at night. All the stores will likely be open till the next morning, from evening to the next morning, and then everybody goes back into the house. 
and if you're an expatriate and you're not a Muslim and you don't know anything about Ramadan please this is not the time you eat in public this is not the time you offer them food this is not the time you offer uh, the Saudis or other expatriates who are Muslims snack or water or whatever this is not the time you drink in public please if you are not a Muslim and you're not fasting eat whatever you want to eat in your closet do not bring them to the public don't let the Muslims see you when you're eating it's not like they're going to do anything so so serious to you some of them might see it and overlook it but I mean it's good to respect people's culture and tradition and religion so do not eat in the public that is number one thing I want to stress here do not eat in public during the fasting period and the fasting period for them is usually early morning when they finish the uh, early morning prayer I don't, it's called Faj or something I'm not I'm not very sure whether I pronounced it well and then uh, they fast till late evening when they say the prayer the evening prayer they call uh, Maghrib or something so please do not crucify me if I did not get the pronunciation right please do not crucify me I'm just trying to learn Arabic it's not my first language it's not my native language of course so within this period of fasting, please do not eat in public, do not eat in their presence, do not offer them food, do not offer them water. That is number one. And number two is during Ramadan as well, if you're working, if you're a doctor and you're working in one of the primary care centers, just have it in mind, you might be doing two shifts. Though the working hours will reduce from eight hours to six hours, but you still might be doing two shifts: one in the morning, one shift in the morning, and one shift at night. The morning shift usually may start from nine thirty to twelve thirty, or from ten o'clock to one o'clock, and then the evening shift may start from nine thirty as well in the in the evening till twelve thirty, or from. 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock depends on what happens usually there will be an announcement there will be a memo as regards this and another thing is this during ramadan because of the fasting a lot of people tend to consume more of sugary things now this goes to the uh my muslim friends whether they're expatriates or you're watching this video Please do not over consume sugary things during Ramadan, especially if you're diabetic or if you have a family history. Do not consume things that are very, very high in carbs or things that are, that has very high glycemic index. One of them is dates. Dates, even though it's a natural fruit, is a very healthy fruit, but definitely it will increase your sugar level, your blood sugar level. It will definitely increase it. So when you're consuming dates, take it in moderation and then seek advice from your medical practitioner who will guide you on what to eat during Ramadan, how to take your drugs, your medications during Ramadan. Remember, the Muslims are fasting for the for doctors who are working here in Saudi the Muslims are fasting so you don't tend to give them uh, their drugs the usual hours for instance if they are taking any drug that requires them to take it three times in a day you might want to take it to two times and then you calculate you calculate your doses appropriately so that I mean you still achieve uh, your goal as per controlling their their blood pressure or their blood sugar so that is for uh, doctors then another thing i want to also talk about just fill your eyes with what is happening in our team is a very big grocery mall and that is why i'm using it as a base to preach this message or to send out this message to whoever that may find it interesting or that may find it very informative so another thing about uh, ramadan is that because it is one of the hottest months in the Arabic calendar, so there tend to be, I mean, dehydration. There tend to be dehydration. So please take lots of water. Make sure you, you hydrate yourself as much as possible. Take lots of fruits and veggies and also keep yourself healthy. It is hot, so it's I'm very sunny, so try to cover yourself with your face cap, with your hat, with your sunglasses, with clothes that will cover all your body. Protect yourself from sun by using sunscreen as frequently as possible. And apart from the fact that uh, Ramadan is a very sunny month, 
it is also very dusty i don't know if this uh, applies to all regions or all provinces but in my own province it is very very dusty so try as much as possible to vacuum if you vacuum or sweep if you sweep and make sure you keep your environment uh, dust free because it might trigger some allergic reactions and other stuff that has to do with uh, dust and if your air conditioner is not in good condition please fix it because i mean you wouldn't want to go some minutes without air condition during the ramadan period and there's one also very good thing about ramadan is the sales the ramadan sales i mean every grocery every shop every store wants to give you some discount and when you walk also during the ramadan festive period you get to get some vacation you can decide to take it immediately or you can decide to take it afterwards so guys, this is actually what I want to tell you. There are lots of things I would have loved to say about Ramadan, but just these are the basic, I mean, you need to have in mind when it comes to Ramadan. So we are actually still touring Alotin, and these are the frozen food section. Oh my god, the uh, samosa papers. I love samosas a lot and I make them a lot. I even make the papers myself. This is ice cream section, the border and cheese and other stuff that need to be refrigerated. And these are the nuts and the spices and the seeds. Oh my god, I love cardamom. It is one of my favorite uh, favorite um seeds or spices because i mean i love the flavory nature of cardamom i also like cinnamon yeah but i use more of cardamom and also we are still with the seeds these are ground nuts or peanuts this is sunflower seed and this is now the vegetable section this is my in, my, in fact my best section anytime i come to alotem and i don't visit it then you know that i did not come to alotem i will always visit the, the vegetable section because i mean the fruits and vegetable section because i mean it's life i mean fruits and veggies is life is life seriously and we need to consume as much as possible during this ramadan period ramadan is just a, a, around the corner it is not yet here we still have like some days i mean to ramadan no weeks it's just like a week plus to ramadan so i mean we need to prepare our mind ourselves for it so these are a few of the things i got actually i did not go for grocery i actually went to show you Alotem and show you I mean some grocery places in Saudi So I use the opportunity to get this. This is a sugar-free biscuit. I usually take Because I try to keep my caps level as low as possible because I mean I have a family history of diabetes and I wouldn't want to be a victim so I try as much as possible to keep my caps level in everything i consume as low as possible and i also keep my cholesterol levels as low as possible i do more of exercise take lots of water and as yeah, it consume more fiber this is what i do so guys i really thank you if you have watched to this moment or if you have listened to this moment this sounds like a podcast i don't know what do you think <laughs> this actually sounds to me like a podcast but i just had to put in a video of alotem in the background so that you don't get so bored because sometimes listening to podcasts might be boring if you ask me so guys thank you so much and please if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for please click the subscribe button which is the red button on your right hand side and also there is a bell icon beside it also click it so that anytime i make any upload you'll be able to be notified i noticed that lots of people watch me and they are not subscribed what is it what is it please subscribe to this channel and support your girl, support your sister. 
this place is not easy you <laughs> i mean to work here to live and work here is not really easy but i mean you have to do what you have to do take care and god bless you till next